Okay, let me show you on the ST16 uh, using the Typhoon H what your uh, camera on your quad would invariably pick. So if we go into the uh, manual area, so I'm going to take it out of auto and put it on manual. All we can alter on the Typhoon H is the ISO and the shutter speed, and that's the only thing we can alter. It's a fixed aperture camera. What it will invariably do is try and keep a reasonably fast shutter speed and by reasonably fast on a bright day you'd probably be looking up around 800 something like that and probably in excess of that and then to adjust for that it will just adjust the ISO so here to, to get it up to a reasonable looking one you're looking at around 1600 ISO as you can see picture looks absolutely fine but what we've got is 800th of a second shutter speed to produce smooth video we need to get that shutter speed nice and low and to do that we need to alter the ISO down and then bring it down so that we get a nice slow shutter speed so something like a 60th is nice um, anything around that area will produce um, good video and I'm going to show you the difference in a high shutter speed and a low shutter speed now okay so I'm going to show you the effect of a fast shutter speed um, basically as you can see on the left hand side there's a very fast shutter speed going on and as I decrease it on the right hand side you see it becomes much more natural to our eye uh, we don't see the, like almost the strobe effect that you're getting on the uh, propellers on the left hand side now this works for every environment um, where you're using lighting obviously video um, even like a rainy scene like this uh, and that's a good reason why Hollywood and the filmmakers and TV and everything always have control over the shutter speed because then they can keep it more natural to our eye when we see it played back on video Okay, so will a neutral density filter cure all our aerial video woes? Not really, but what it will do is give us an extra tool in our toolbox to produce great videos. And by using it, we can reduce jello, we can get rid of any uh, prop flutter that you might get, and give a nice buttery smooth finish to your videos like they use in Hollywood and on the TV. Will you have Spielberg beaten a pathway to your door to ask you to film his next epic? pretty unlikely. But what it might do is turn one of your good videos into one of your great videos.